Hey y'all, this is Santasha. So this will be a first for me and we'll see how it goes. If it goes whack, this will end up being a pompadour and a puff. But if it works out for me, it'll be finger coils and a puff. So that's what I'm going to try to give them. I've never done finger coils before, but I've worn them um, maybe twice <laughs> since I've been uh, natural. So I've worn them, yeah, I've worn them maybe three times. Yep. Not a big fan of them, but when I. So, I'm just going to give this a try. Um, first, I'm going to put on my um, homemade leave-in conditioner. Oh, and you know, I flat out my hair. The mostly this part and you can see it came right on back I blow dried and flat iron and I did use a heat protectant because I actually have experienced um, heat damage in the past uh, it was just a lesson learned for me and my stylist at the time neither one of us knew much about uh, natural hair care and you know just doing what we do and that's what happens so she was just as surprised as I was. She was like, Santasha, why is your hair so straight? I was like, I don't know. So, um, that's what happened. But anyway, today I'm using, going back to one of my old friends, Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie. So I'm just going to rub that on there. And then I'm going to use my Natty Butter to seal in the moisture. And then because I want my finger coils to last a little bit, my new product for today is the Giovanni's um, Styling Gel. LA Natural Styling Gel. It's made by Giovanni's. So, give this here a try. <laughs> and it's um, supposed to be Stronghold. So, I'll know after tonight I don't know what is stronghold or too stronghold you know cuz I like I want it to hold I want if I want to take the time to do these little finger coils I want them to stay but I don't want them crunchy so we shall see and because I'm not skilled at this finger coils this is all I'm gonna do just gonna finger actually like I say coil my hair with my finger. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know how to do them with the comb, so I apologize in advance for that. But that's all I'm doing is just coiling it around my finger until it gets kind of um, tight. And then I slide my finger on down. Like I said, I'm just going to do the front um, bang part and then the back 
I'm going to have just the um, afro puff because this is way too much hair to be trying to finger coil especially this late at night well I know for some of y'all it might not be too late but for me I wake up at 4 o'clock in the morning so late is anything after 9.30 so I just wanted to show y'all that that front row of the um, finger coils and then I'll come back when I'm all done and let you see how I'm going to wear it tomorrow actually I'm going to have a big twist in the back so I might I'll come back when I'm done the front part of the finger coil section and then I'll uh, come back in the morning when I take the puff out in the you know when it's all dried up and the puff is you know in this big twist out because I'm only gonna put big um, twist in the back because like I said it's past my bedtime and uh can't be staying up late I got work to do all right I'll see y'all later all right so as I'm coiling I'm thinking to myself if I wanted my coils to stay nice and tight, I could take some clips and place them on the end. However, I'm already liking the way they're kind of like um, natural, you know, looking like natural um, curly, finger curled hair. You know, they look like they're naturally made this way without the clips to hold them to make them look perfect. Because I can see how they're um, poofing up a little bit. But I, I think I'm, I like that part so they don't look so um, man-made, if, if that's a word for hair. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They look like they're natural, like naturally. That's how your hair could or possibly grow. So I'm um, just a thought while I was sitting here. I'm almost done. I'm not doing a whole lot. Just got a little bit more to go. And that's it. That's, gonna that's it. And I'm going to come back in the morning when the, um, when my Hopefully when my hair is all dry and let you all see the final product with the 360 turn and all. Well, it's me again. I know I said I was coming back in the morning, but I just finished putting in the um, the two strand twist in the um, Afro Puff. And I was just thinking, you probably could if you wanted to, you know, you know, just saying, if you wanted to, you could wear it just like this. You know, wear it like this for one day. Because I always try to switch it up a little bit. So you can wear it like this for one day. And then the next day, twist it out or whatever. Have we. So I'm going to give you all a 360 turn. Turning, turning, turning. Alright. And then I also had another name. I was thinking... You know, the finger coils without the clips, you know, they start to spread and they don't really look so coily. But they they do got the little coily curl to it. So, I was even thinking maybe we could call this like a um, exaggerated wash and go. Because, you know, you put the gel on your hair with your wash and go and you got to rake it all through. Here, you not raking it through, but you're, you know, you spread it on and then you do the little finger coil thing. So, that's might just call that that. We shall see how it turns out in the morning. If it don't turn out, the if it doesn't dry like it is currently, it'll probably be in a, um, what you call it? I'll probably put it in a pompadour. All right, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye. Good morning. So I just wanted to show you my um, final product. As you know with these, they just dried and I didn't do anything to them. And you see that? So I really like this because it really looks like, you know, natural finger coils don't look so, you know, handmade like I tried so hard to create them. So I really like those. And then the um, Afro Puff in the back, you've seen the big twist that I had in there. And I just took those down. And here's what you got. So this is a nice little styling idea. I like it. 
So now I am going to go and get ready for work. I hey y'all, this is Santasha. So I had to come back one more time so because I want to show you the um tell you what I thought about the Giovanni's um styling gel, the LA Natural. Um and it did really good. It's not too hard. It's, matter of fact, it's really not hard at all. It's rather soft. It's not crunchy. So, see, um, yeah, it feels really nice, and it held the um, coils really good. And that's all. I forgot to tell y'all that part. So I just want to tell y'all that part. And so y'all have pictures, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye bye.